In this video, we'll see how we could apply a work energy principle for solving different problems related to in this structure. So here the structure that works with the mechanism as a pendulum, that is the ball is released from a position A with a velocity of three meters per second and then swings in a vertical plane. At the bottom position, the code strike the fixed bar at point B and then the ball continues to swing in the dashed arc then calculate the velocity of c of the ball as it passes position c. So the overall equation at this one, let's see the animation, and then the ball was at, initially it was at point a, and then it was just launched with the initial speed is of three meter per second, just like this, once it moved just as it is, then there is an obstacle here, that's not point b, then it will just collapse it, and then it will swing the other portions. So the animation is in this way, you can see again, once the system is in this way, the velocity at the initial positions of A are given, and then at the position when the test object reaches at the position C is required. That means when it passes just point C, so we have to evaluate the velocities of this particle at that position. So let's apply the kinetic energy and then potential energy principle as working energy a principle for evaluating such types of problem and then let's see what will happen. Now from the given part, we know that the initial velocity at position A is given as 3 meter per second. So this is uh, the main given part here. So once we have this, the required parameter is just to evaluate the velocity at position C. So what the velocity at position C. So uh, let's just try to construct this. We can apply this work energy principle. That means we know the energy at point A, and then once we know the energy at point A, and then the energy at point C, then we can figure out what the output velocity on the position C would be. Now just let's construct the free body diagram for the system. That means for the geometric part. Now let's see the vertical distance and this is just at an angle of 60 degree and this is the length is 1.2 meter and then what will be the vertical length of the component that means the L times cos 60 degree. So L times cos 60 degree will become L times cos 60 degree is equal to 1.2 times cos 60 degree and cos 60 degree is half so it will be 0 0.6 so in the vertical direction we will have a 0.6 that means it will be around there so this is just 0 0.6 meter and then we know that the position c is at the distances of 0.8 that means from this to this this is 0.8 so the remaining part will be 0 0.2 so this is the distance that is 0 0.2. So the initial position is at position A, this one is A, and then the final distance is over this level, this is at point C. So what is the elevation between the two? So the maximum elevation is 0 0.2. So we know that the energy at position A and the position B. So at the position A, we know that the potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times H. So it will be mass times gravity times h in this case is 0 0.2 and then the kinetic energy is kinetic energy at position a is equal to half mva squared and then we know that half velocity is 3 and 3 squared will be 9 times m so it will be 4.5 times m so this is the kinetic energy at position a now let's just go to the energy at point c so the energy at point c in this case, we have no any potential energy, so the potential energy will be zero because there is no elevation between the two. And then the other one, the kinetic energy will become half mvc squared. So we have no any other work then that means the work then from point A to point C is zero because there is no any external force which apply over the system. So once I have this, now let's apply the work energy principle that means at the initial and the point final position that means the energy at point A plus work done from point A up to point C is equal to the energy at point C. So if we just put all these values we will get 
that 0 0.2 times mg plus 4.5 times m is equals to the energy at point C is half m vc squared. In this case, m is common, so it will be cancelled out. And then finally, we'll have vc squared over 2 is equals to 0 0.2g plus 4.5. And then if we multiply with 2, so finally we'll see velocity of c squared is equals to 0 0.4g plus 9. So this is the velocity of c, and then if we substitute the value of g, then we can get that part. So this is equal to 0 0.4 times, in this case, gravity is 9.81, so plus 9. So finally, if we put all this numerical values, you'll get 12.924. So under radical of this, we'll get velocity of c, so velocity of c will be under radical of 12.924. So finally, it will be... 3.59 meter per second. So this is our answer for the given question. In this case, if you look over the system, work energy principle is highly applicable for evaluating different velocities, but it has its own limitation because it cannot tell us the accelerations of the system. It can only give us the velocity relationship between different Particles. So this is it for the overall assessment.